students today we will solve question paper for class 8 half yearly exam 2023 subject science so let's start learning this is our first question various materials which are obtained from nature are called natural resources which one of the following is not a natural resource here are our options option a minerals option b water option c soil and the final option option d plastic now the correct answer for this question will be option d plastic now the reason for this answer the explanation for this answer is simple minerals soil and water are natural resources they are natural resources because they are found in nature and are used without much alteration whereas plastic whereas plastic is a man made resource meaning that it is created by and meaning that it is created by us human beings hence why the correct answer will be plastic now let's move on to the second question air is a natural resource and cannot be exhausted by human activities it is known as inexhaustible natural resource Which of the following is another inexhaustible natural resource? This question is asking us which one of the following is another natural and in another inexhaustible natural resource, just like air. And here are options. The correct answer will be sunlight. The reason why it is sunlight is simple, because sunlight is an inexhaustible resource, meaning that it can either is in infinite quantity or two. it is renewed it is renewed very quickly and for the case of sunlight it is of infinite quantity sunlight cannot run out hence why it is an inexhaustible natural resource whereas minerals petroleum and coal all of these are exhaustible resources because they are present in a limited quantity in nature and can be run out by human activities whereas sunlight cannot Now let's go to question three. Which of the following is a pair of exhaustible natural resources? And here are our options once again. Exhaustible natural resources. The correct answer will be wildlife and minerals, or option D. The reason is once again quite simple. Option A has soil in it, and soil, as we all know, is an is an inexhaustible natural resource. Whereas option B has air and sunlight, both of these are inexhaustible natural resources. Hence, why option B is incorrect. And the final option, water and petroleum, is once again incorrect because it has water in it, and water is an inexhaustible natural resource. Hence, why the correct answer will be wildlife and minerals for option D, because it consists of two inexhaustible. It consists of two exhaustible natural resources. wildlife and minerals okay now let's move on to question 4 coal is processed in industries to get some useful products which of the following is not obtained from coal and the correct answer will be cng coke coal gas and coal tar are all made from coal however cng is not made from coal it is instead made from it is instead made from natural gas natural gas is essentially a constituent of petroleum which is a different oil hence why which is a different fuel hence why the correct answer will be option b cng okay let's move on to question 5 exhaustible natural resources are and here are options a unlimited in quantity B not dependent on nature. C limited in quantity, and the final option D not exhausted by human activities. The correct answer will be limited in quantity. Option C. Because exhaustible resources are exhaustible due to the fact that they are limited in quantity, as they can run out. If they were unlimited in quantity, then there would be no way for them to be able to run out. 
ends by option C is the correct answer. Moving on to question 6. Fossil fuels are obtained from and here are once again our options. The correct answer, the correct answer will be dead remains of living organisms. Now, you may wonder, why is it not option A? Remains of non-living materials. Because remains of non-living materials suggest that those materials were already not alive, such as inanimate objects like rocks, the soil, trees, no trees, that's a bad example, soil, rocks and other such materials that do not live. Hence why it will be the dead remains of living organisms and not the remains of non-living materials. Because option A suggests that fossil fuels are obtained from remains of non-living materials such as such as a ground or this wall. You understand? Hence why it will be option B. Now moving on to question 7. Coal is formed from the remains of and once again here are the options. The correct answer will be Coal is formed from the remains of vegetation only. Coal is not formed from animals. Coal is formed from vegetation only. Because neither vegetation nor animals is not true because it means that it is in form from either. And both vegetation and animals mean that it is formed from animals as well as vegetation. But it is only formed from vegetation such as forests not from animals. Any, the fuel that is formed from the dead remains of animals is petroleum, not coal. Hence why this answer is, hence why this option is also incorrect. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and solve question 8. Which substance is formed by the carbonization of dead vegetation? For this question will be coal. The reason why it is coal is because all of the other options, coke, coal tar, and coal gas, are made from coal. Okay, right. All right. Question nine. Number three in bowls are obtained from coal tar and are used as, and the correct answer will be mop repellent. Naphthalene bowls are not used to repel mosquitoes, honeybees, or snakes. They are only used to repel moths. Alright. Question 10. Which of the following is not a constituent of petrol? And the correct answer will be coke. Or option D. The, correct, the reason why this is the correct answer because all of these petrol, paraffin wax, and lubricating oil. All of these are made from petroleum, whereas coke is made from coal. Alright, hence why coke is not the constituent of petroleum. Alright, let's solve question 11. Petroleum was formed from organisms. The correct answer will be organisms living in the sea. As we all know, the story in the story of petroleum, petrol is formed when the dead remains of the sea animals, the animals that lived in the sea, were buried under the clay and sand and etc. So they were under living under the sea, not living on the land and living on the plants or living on the rocks. They were only living in the sea or under the sea. Alright, question 12. Choose the correct statement from the following. And here are the options. The correct answer will be natural gas cannot be used for power generation. The reason why it is the, the, reason why it is the correct answer is because of this. It is difficult to transport natural gas to a this is not true. This is not a true statement because natural gas is normally transported through pipes. 
and then option B is not triggered naturally because the disadvantage of natural gas is that it cannot be used directly for burning in homes and it is not the case. The specialty of natural gas is that it can be burned directly. And the reason why option C is not a correct answer is because of this. Natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas. The reason why this is the reason why this is the incorrect answer is because actually no. Choose the correct statement from the following. Yes, natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas. Yes. Natural gas can be used for power generation. Alright. Question 13. You are provided with a mixture of petroleum and water. Can you suggest a method to separate the two? Now, the answer for this question is decantination. The process of decantination can separate the mixture of petroleum and water. Now, let's go ahead and solve question 14. What does CNG stand for and why is it considered to be better fuel than petrol? The answer for this is CNG stands for compressed natural gas. The reason why CNG is considered as a better fuel than petrol is because it does not produce any smoke while being burnt. Hence, not, hence not causing any pollution. Alright. Question 15. Name the petroleum product used as fuel for stoves, lamps, and jet aircraft. The correct answer will be kerosene is used as a fuel for stoves, lamps, and jet aircrafts. aircrafts. And then, the final question for today. Fill in the blanks in the following sentences. Coal is one of the gas used to cook. The correct answer is the correct answer is fumes. Alright. Option B, part B of the question. When heated in air, coal burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide. Alright, part C of this question. Coal tar is a black, thick gas with an with an, with an gas smile, smell. The correct answer will be coal tar is a black, thick liquid. Petroleum, coal and natural gas are fuels, are fossil fuels. And the final part of this question, of part E, forests and coal are gas natural resources. Forests and coal are exhaustible natural resources. The reason why 
they are exhausted by natural resources is because both of them, forests and coal, can drain out because they are limited in quantity. Anyway, students, that was all it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to support our channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Well, you can also support this video by liking and also sharing it. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to keep learning.